Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Reaper blog. In this video, I will show you how to set up an external editor, as well as my workflow for using an external editor. So in this project, I have this female voiceover that is kind of uh, clicky. There's lots of mouth clicks. And I'm going to use Isotope RX to remove the clicks. So let's start with setting up the external editor. So I'm going to open up my preferences, go all the way down to the bottom, there's external editors. And here we have Isotope RX. I'll just remove it and show you the how to get uh, to this step. So click the Add button and go right to this first Browse option. Going to go to Applications, and then it's I for Isotope. Select the app and then hit Open. And it's the same process on PC. You just find the program you want to open your file in and then click uh, OK. And you can actually set up two different editors. Uh, I haven't found a use for a second one, personally. All right, so that's setting up the external editor. So to send your audio into your external editor, you select the item, right click, open items in editor, and then you can open the item, the audio file directly in Isotope RX, or you can make a copy and send it to RX. I like to do that. So it's made a copy. I just tab back and show all takes. You can see this is the original and this is the copy, the one that's going to be processed, or really the, the one that's going to be sent into RX. All right, so in RX, I'm going to select all and de-click. And uh, I'm just going to set this to basically the default setting. Uh, I'm going to preview with clicks only. All right, so it's taking out lots of clicks, and I'm not hearing any of her voice being taken out. So I'm just going to hit Process. And I'm going to Save As. All right, so this automatically takes you to the same folder that this file came from. I'm going to press the right arrow once, create an underscore, add the suffix rx and hit save. All right, so now I can close this and close isotope rx. Now if I double click on this item, I bring up the uh, item properties. I'm going to choose new file and then if I'm in list view with uh, label selected, I can just hit up once. Also if date modified would work there as well. Press the up arrow once, and then hit open, and then hit OK. Now we have the original and the uh, click reduced version. So let's play it back to compare. Thank you for listening. The guys will be back next week. Please go to homerecordingshow.com and leave your comments. OK. And the click reduced version. Thank you for listening. The guys will be back next week. Please go to homerecordingshow.com and leave your comments. Let's make this process quicker. All right, so if we just want to edit this small section, press S to split this, open up the preferences, and go to mouse modifiers and media item, context, double click. And let's use command control. So I'm going to double click there, go into the action list. I'm going to type in external, and then we're looking for uh, open item copies in primary external editor. Select and close, hit OK. So now if I press Command Control and then double click, it's going to create a copy. Let's just verify that. Yep, made a copy on a new take. And then we can run our D-click. All 
save underscore rx, save, quit, double click this, choose new file, press up, press enter, press OK, and now we've edited just this section. So that's my workflow. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you can use this technique for improving your workflow. Let me know which external editors you like. Uh, for me, RX3 plus Reaper is perfect. It covers everything I need to do. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more Reaper tutorials. And check out the blog, reaperblog.net. Thanks.